every plant uh, has to get hand picked by the root or it'll go back like a dandelion. So what we do, we set this up because we knew you were coming here, but this actually is a diver towable dash. It's the only one uh, it's, not a good one. Uh, it's the only one of its kind. I invented it and it it's designed around diver productivity. Um, so what we do is we have a line out and I follow, it's like a row of corns, you know, so you, you follow the line of corn, your, your flippers are actually, your feet are actually up in the air. Okay, I use a, a dry suit and uh, your feet are up in the air so they're not you're basically motionless. Yeah. I move by when I go with the root, I pull, Great. and that pulls me forward a little Whoa. bit to the next one. Whoa. So we also use here because it's muddy and then it gets into clay, and the <coughs> weeds are topping out at you know 14, even some of them 16 feet. So what we need is a very high velocity hose, and this hose will take a 15 foot weed and put it in in three seconds. And this is, here's an example of a root ball right there. And you can see it's a, it's a pretty extensive system and that's what you need to bring up. If you don't if you don't get that whole thing it'll uh, it'll just go back. And there was mention about a partnership grant and uh, what that grant is is it's from the Department of Conservation and Recreation and uh, uh, through uh, specifically in this particular case uh, water supply protection in, in the lakes and ponds program which Jonathan Yo is our director of uh, and we were able to match on a two to one basis the uh, the monies that uh, came in from Natick and, and the friends uh, of Lake Chichewit uh, and their solid commitment uh, to eradicate uh, the milfoil or at least control the milfoil here on this pond so that you don't lose lose the recreational resource and, and lose the natural resource and uh, be able to use uh, the, the water resource safely and to do it without chemical treatments. We all know that, you know, chemicals do certain things to the, to the system that we're seeing here, a very alive system. And Jonathan, you know, today was t talking about how alive the lake is, every lake. And he's out at Quab and he sees the same thing here. And so we're working with something that we hope is going, we, we know it's going to, you know, remove a lot of the milfoil, and it is an experiment here, so we're going to see how it behaves here. And the one other thing that we need to put up is some of the fencing, some of the milfoil barriers that we're going to put up in that section to keep the uh, flow from coming into the state heat area. So.